Ozi, 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 oi. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today we're going to do a science experiment together and we're going to make our very own lava lamp. Actually, we're going to make two lava lamps using two different colours. So grab your sister or your brother, invite a friend over and make sure you've got a grown up to help you with this experiment. Let's get stuck in. This experiment is actually quite simple and you don't need a whole heap of ingredients. You should be able to buy most of these from your local supermarket. We've got some baby oil. You can use any sort of cooking oil if you want, but we like to use baby oil because it's nice and clear and lets the color shine through a whole lot better. Speaking of color, we're gonna need some food coloring. And you can use any colors you like, but I'm gonna use my two favorite colors. Do you know what they are? That's right, green and gold. Then we're gonna need something called Alka-Seltzer, which is just like a fizzy tablet. We're also gonna need some water. And then the other things we've got on the table here are bottles, or you can use glass jars. They can be this big, or they can just be small ones if you just wanna do a small experiment. We've got some glasses over here, and that's what we're gonna to use to mix the color in. We've got a funnel so that we can pour all these ingredients into the bottles. And we've also got a measuring cup and a spoon over here. So that's all we need. Let's get stuck in. So once we get all of these ingredients into the bottle, the last step is to put the fizzy tablet in the bottle. And just like magic, our lava lamp is gonna to come to life. So I'm gonna talk you through it and do the experiment at the same time. Why don't you sit back and learn how it's done and get excited about what we're gonna make. And then why don't you grab a friend or a brother or a sister, make sure you've got a grown up with you as well. And you can go back and watch the video again and pause where you need it and make your very own science at home. So let's make a lava lamp. To begin, we're gonna measure out half a cup of water into our glasses over here. So we've got our half a cup of water in our glasses and then we're gonna add the food coloring. So whatever color you like, we're gonna add five drops of that color into the glass. So I'm gonna start with green. I'm gonna go five drops. And then for the other lava lamp, I'm gonna make it yellow. So we're gonna add five drops. That's right, good job kids. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Did you count with me? All right, so you can add more or less depending how much color you want in your lava lamp. Then once the color's in there, we're just gonna give it a stir. There's our yellow one. And we're stirring just to make sure that that color is evenly mixed into the water. So there's our green and our gold. We're just gonna move those to the side. So the next step is to add our oil to our bottles. Now we've got pretty big bottles here and we wanna make those about three quarters full. So we're gonna use our funnel and pour our oil. Just like that. All right. And I reckon that's just the right amount. So then we're gonna do the same with our other bottle because we're making two lava lamps at the same time here, kids. You can make one at home by yourself or you can make multiple. So we've got our oil in there. They don't have to be an exact measurement, but about three quarters full is good. Okay, so the next step is to pour our colored water into the bottles. So we're gonna need our funnel again for that one. And we'll start over here with our gold or our yellow color. Now when we pour that in, we wanna make sure that we leave enough room at the top so that when those fizzy tablets are in there, it doesn't bubble up and spill out over the top. All right, so we've got our yellow in there, and now we're gonna go for the green color. 
Now you can see that as I pour those colours in, the water and the oil stay separate. That's because oil, the clear, is lighter than the water. So the water, because it's heavy, sinks to the bottom. And that's the science happening. Now, the last step, this is where the magic happens. We're gonna take our fizzy tablet and we're gonna just break it up into smaller pieces and you just drop it in bit by bit. Just like that. So as I drop these tablets into the lava lamp, they start to dissolve at the bottom and they create what's called carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is lighter than the water and lighter than the oil, so it rises to the top. And as it rises to the top, it takes some of those droplets of the coloured water with it. When those bubbles get to the top, they pop and that coloured water gets heavy again and drops to the bottom. And that's what creates all that movement in there. And that's what making these turn into lava lamps. Now you can experiment with how much of these fizzy tablets you put in. I've still got half here, so I'm just gonna hold that off because the yellow one, there's a lot of activity happening in there. The green one, if we just keep it with one and a half tablets, you can see a lot more of those bubbles happening. So you can just try different things at home. But how exciting is that? We've made our own lava lamp, but it's not really a lamp, is it? Because it's not glowing, there's no light. So what do we need to make it a lava lamp, a real lava lamp? Light, good job kids. Okay, so I've got two little lights and they're just little LED lights, which I got from the supermarket. And so we're gonna put them like that. We're gonna turn them on and put the lava lamps on top and then the light is gonna shine up through. So you just switch them on like that. And we're gonna rest them gently on the lights. And how cool is that? And I've still got some fizzy tablets, so I'm gonna add it back in here. And that's how cool this experiment is. You can just keep adding more fizzy tablets and that's gonna bring it to life and reactivate it again. Should we switch some lights off and really see them glow? Let's give it a try. How cool is that? So we've made our very own lava lamps. And if you wanted, you could have another couple of these bottles and have all these multiple colors of lava lamps lined up in your very own home. And once the bubbles start to stop, you can add more fizzy tablets and that's gonna bring them back to life again. How cool is that with the lights off? We probably need them back on. So we're back in the light. We've got our lava lamps. You can just look at them for ages because they're actually quite mesmerizing. They're really good fun. And then once those bubbles start to die down, you can just add more fizzy tablet and that just basically turns them back on again. So I hope you have lots of fun creating your own lava lamps at home. Make sure you send me a photo because I love seeing what you create with your science experiments. Kids, enjoy yourselves, keep experimenting, and until next time, stay keen. Make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next. What sports you'd like to play, jobs you want Aussie to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. See you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen. Aussie, 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 Aussie,